hi guys and welcome back to my channel today it's saturday and i'm filming my weekly makeup basket for you mm, next week there will be there will not be a makeup basket video because i'm turning 30 next saturday and i won't be able to film on saturday because i have to prepare for the party and on sunday i plan on uh being in the couch all day so yeah, if you want to see this week's makeup picks, then please keep on watching. So at the start of this week, I took out some products and thought to myself, oh, this is going to be amazing, I'm going to use them all. Um, but actually, no. Uh, I took out three blushes and two highlights. I've only been using one highlight this week and only been using one blush this week. Um, but I'm going to start with my eyes. Uh, so first, I took out two eyeshadow palettes. First, uh... It's the Sleek Makeup Eye Divine Palette in the color Storm. This is one of the first palettes I ever bought. Uh, and I haven't used it in a really long time. So this week I used the Neutral Shades. And did one makeup look with. And I, I mixed in the Makeup Revolution Redemption Palette Iconic 3. And that looks like this. Also kind of a neutral toned palette. So, and I, I didn't use eyeshadow every day um, this week either, but uh, in the beginning of the week I used those two. Then this week I've had on my favorite eyeliner, and it's this blue from NYX, and this is the Vivid Brights in the color Vivid Sapphire. And this is a blue neon color uh, that makes you think of the 80s. Or how should I know? I was born in the <laughs> end of 80s. But when it dries, it dries completely matte. Uh, and I did a bold liner with this. I absolutely love this color. And I've also been using the Lottie London AM to PM Cool Eyeliner Pencil in the color Mocha. And it looks like this. And it's just a regular uh, eyeliner in a brown shade so that's what I've been using on my eyes and just like last week I used the infinity palette for my contour and it's the cigar shade there uh, I don't know contour and uh, sorry contour and brows I don't know if I want to switch it up yet <laughs> I really love this palette it's amazing I have it on as a contour right now I think it really uh, cuts my cheeks so that has been my um, contour shade and for bronzer this week I've been using the Benefit Hula Light it's a really light color and it's uh, really easy to build up and it's perfect for my skin tone uh, I'm going to swatch it I don't know if you can be able to see that it is as I said a really pale shade there it is <laughs> it's barely noticeable but I have it on right now as well. Um, I actually like this. It has a bit of a perfumey smell though. But I love the product and uh, can really recommend this for you pale people out there. I have the Hula, original Hula as well. And that suits my skin tone perfectly fine as well. And for blusher this week, as I mentioned, I took out three blushes in the beginning of the week thinking I would use, <coughs> use them all. But I didn't. This week I totally fell in love with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the color Radiant Magenta. And this is truly a amazing shade. It has some um, shimmer to it. So it's it doesn't lay flat on your uh, cheeks. I have it on right now as well. It's a buildable color and it's lovely light pink let me see if I can build that for you so you can see it better yeah there you go there it is it's kind of a rosy gold blush uh, I have uh, more of the brand and uh, I haven't been using them that, that much but I think I can definitely say that this is one of my favorite formulas for blush 
it's amazing it's easy to blend it's easy to build up it lasts uh, throughout the day on my cheeks and yeah they look amazing sure they are pricey but I love them and I will probably buy more <laughs> this summer and then last but not least for highlighter this week I took out two but I've only been using one and I've been using the by Terry in Imperlicious in the color Pearlescent Glow and it looks like this and it comes in a velvet uh, pocket. I bought this off a friend. It's from the Christmas collection of 2016 and it's a lovely neutral light highlight. Uh, it doesn't give a beaming glow to the sky. Mm, I have it on right now. It's quite subtle. Uh, I mix I mix these together. The brown one I haven't used. And I'm going to swatch it for you. This is, as I said, quite natural uh, on the face. It gives a kind of a... Uh, you can see that. Can you see that? It's kind of a neutral, natural highlight. Um, it smells like Christmas. It smells like... I think it smells like cinnamon. But not like cinnamon cinnamon, but... I bet there are cinnamon mixed in with this. So this is amazing. It's hella expensive and I probably won't buy <laughs> another highlight from the brand. But I love it. It's... It's easy on the skin, it doesn't show my imperfections and uh, as you can see it's quite natural. I have it on pretty packed today though, but I love it. Uh, so yeah, I think that was it this week. Um, I can mention my primer if you want to. This week I've been loving and using and this is one of my favorites for the whole thing. The whole month, I think, uh, the January, and this is the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer in hydrating and pore minimizing. You don't need that much at all. If you take too much, it will clump on your skin. But I take a small amount of this and concentrate it on my T zone where I have big pores and where I have oily. I have oily, oily. I have a oily chin, chin, and this is amazing. Since I started using this one, my makeup lasts better during the day and um, this is not an expensive product by any means. So if you're looking for a new primer, please check out the Milani Prime Perfection. I think it's amazing. And for setting spray this week, I've been trying to use setting sprays every day but only in the mornings. I've been using the Urban Decay All Nighter. and. Um, Mainly because I want to, I want to use my products, not necessarily that this helps it last all day. Um, but my goal is to use more of my products so I can buy more and I don't want to buy more when I have that many. So I think that is it for this week's makeup basket. Please let me know in the comments down below what you were wearing this week and if you did a crazy makeup look or something like that. As I've said, next week there will be no makeup basket, but if you want to see what makeup I'm going to use for my birthday, then maybe I can film that. I'm going to have a party with over 30 guests, I think, so today I will be doing some preparation for it. Um, I'm going to buy all the alcohol and I've already bought uh, balloons and stuff like that. I am ridiculous. I'm really looking forward to turning 30 uh, or having a party and celebrate with all of my friends and family and um, yeah, not so much 30, turning 30 but having my family gathered. So yeah, that was it. Please let me know. Uh, if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already and until I make another video you guys take care. Bye!